Meg roars as a winter throws Sussex's Christmas card in the trash but puts Wales on the Vogue cover. Meghan is shocked as Anna Winter bans a Sussex's Christmas card but puts Wells on the Vogue cover. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have certainly faced a challenging year, and it seems their efforts to bring some holiday cheer have been met with projections and criticism. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recently revealed their 2023 holiday card via their foundation newsletter. The card features a photo of the couple at the Robert F. Kennedy Ripple of Hope Awards Gala in New York City. However, in contrast to the previous year, this card does not feature their children, Arch and Liette, which has sparked both speculation and criticism. Some fans wondered about the decision to ask their children, who rarely appear in public. While others accuse them of being self-censored and attention-seeking, some people even mock them for using an older photo from November instead of a more recent one. However, the most surprising news came from Vogue magazine, which removed the subject's holiday greeting card from their website and replaced it with Kate Middleton as the cover star. The Duchess of Cambridge appeared on the magazine's cover. Vogue January 2023 issue, elegantly dressed in a red dress and a crown in the magazine's praise, there is the embodiment of Grace's elegance and style, highlighting her role as a pillar of strength for the royal family and for the nation. Many saw the decision to remove Harry and Meghan's tag from their website as an intentional slight especially considering the long-standing tensions between former royals and the magazine in 2019 Meghan became the first guest editor of the September fashion magazine with 15 women she admires however the issue faced criticism for being too politically preachy and self-indulgent some of the women Meghan chose include activist Greta Thurberg and actress Jamma Jam who are also controversial figures. Both having come into conflict with the royal family or the British public editor-in-chief Edward Enham full of Vogue and Meghan's close friends defended the matter calling it an act of courage he affirmed that Meghan is the most misunderstood woman in the world and has faced unfair treatment from the media and public opinion he hopes the issue will change the conversation and reveal her true self however it seems that Vogue readers do not share Edward's admiration as the issue is said to have sold less than half of the expected copies according to the sun the issue sold only 120,000 copies significantly lower than the september issue's average of 190,000 copies this marked it as its fastest selling issue in the magazine's history megan mars rejection in vogue reflects not only the magazine's preference for kate middleton but also public sentiment towards the sexes a recent Yuga poll found that Harry Meghan's popularity rankings in the UK have plummeted, with only 27% of Brits having a positive opinion of Harry and 24% having a positive opinion of Meghan. In contrast, Kate Middleton received a 76% approval rating, making her the most popular royal. Queen Elizabeth Vogue highlighted that Meghan and Mark continue to face challenges. She has distanced herself from the royal family, the media, and the public. She's become a figure who's often criticized and ridiculed, highlighting the difficulties she faces. No matter how hard she tries, while she may have hoped that her holiday card would portray a different image, it appears to reinforce existing perceptions of her as self-obsessed, famous, gluttonous, and ungrateful, making her a polarizing figure in the world.